subjects of sanctions. Generally speaking, sanctions apply to everyone. While, for instance, an individual might not personally conduct due diligence of every vendor before buying a cup of coffee to determine whether it is sanctioned, the buyer could be held liable, for example, if the beans were sourced from Iran unlikely. Complying with sanctions requires using a risk-based approach. Even though guidance is provided on how best to comply with sanctions, it is not expected that the average citizen will have a personal, fully formed sanctions compliance program. Additionally, sanctions are a matter of jurisdiction. Citizens of a country and in some countries, permanent residents must comply with sanctions regardless of whether they are outside of their home country, which is true for the U.S., E.U., and most other autonomous sanctions. If a person is on vacation overseas, their country's sanctions laws still apply. Conversely, any individual, regardless of citizenship, must comply with the sanctions law of any country they are in physically. Now, in the United States, there is a wide array of requirements to determine who is subject to sanction. The most important of these requirements is that U.S. citizens and permanent residents, wherever located, are subject to U.S. sanctions. The same applies to companies and other entities organized under U.S. law to all people and organizations, whatever their origin, physically in the United States, and all branches of U.S. companies and other entities throughout the world. A U.S. company might not violate U.S. sanctions in its non-U.S. branch. Now, for the European Union, its sanctions will apply only where links to the EU are present. In particular, sanctions apply to the following. Within the territory of the European Union, on board any aircraft or any vessel under the jurisdiction of a member state, to any person inside or outside the territory of the European Union, to any legal person, entity, or body inside or outside the territory of the European Union, which is incorporated or constituted under the law of a member state. And finally, to any legal person, entity, or body in respect of any business done in whole or in part within the European Union. In the U.S., legal entities organized under U.S. law and their foreign branches must comply with U.S. sanctions. The same holds for legal entities and their branches that are organized under the laws of an EU jurisdiction. For example, UK legal entities established under UK law, including their branches, must comply with UK financial sanctions, irrespective of where their activities occur.